Memory. It's the key to our identity. Without memory, we're nothing. It's who we are. Then. Memory Hackers. Right now. Is mankind headed for a major chastisement? Of course, no one really knows the answer to that question with any certainty. However, a good case can be made that due to the state of the world and of the church, God's judgment would seem to demand some sort of chastisement. If we are headed toward a chastisement, is there anything we can do about it? Is there anything we can do to stay God's hand? Well, one thing that we can do is to say the rosary. Another thing that we can do is to participate with the rituals of rogation days. Unfortunately, like many good and profitable things, rogation days have been discarded and fallen into disuse since the Second Vatican Council. Rogation means to ask. We can recognize rogation as the root word in the word interrogation. Rogation is similar in meaning to litany. Therefore, when we chant the litany of the saints, we are petitioning or asking them for something. Rogation days date back to the middle of the 5th century in the French Diocese of Vienne. Storms swept over the area, laying waste to entire villages. And unfortunately, the storms were accompanied by earthquakes, which resulted in many fatalities. And amidst all that devastation, packs of wild animals fearlessly roamed through the villages. And the prospect of famine was staring the people in the face, and there was no good prospect for a good harvest. And it seemed plain to the people at that time, that the hand of God was making itself felt among them. The bishop, therefore, ordered that three days before the ascension would be observed with prayer and fasting, and litanies of supplication were chanted in solemn processions throughout the parishes of the diocese, and those processions included priests carrying the Blessed Sacrament. In this way, the hand of God was stayed. The storm ceased, grain sprung up, and an abundant harvest, harvest was reaped. The practice quickly spread throughout much of Northern Europe, and in the year 816, Pope St. Leo III introduced the practice in Rome, and the practice was instituted throughout the entire church. Rogation days occur on the three days immediately preceding Ascension Thursday, which this year falls on May 25th. As with the original Rogation days, after the celebration of Mass, litanies of the saints are chanted in either churches or in processions throughout the parish. The purpose of this is to ask God to turn away his wrath, which we have merited by our sins, and that he might bestow upon us temporal blessings and, particularly, fruitful harvests. The Church sanctified this custom to teach us of the necessity of prayer at all time and to teach us of our complete dependence on God in all things. We are compelled to acknowledge that, in spite of ourselves, we are dependent on the powerful arm of God and it is equally our interest and duty to bend before God's justice and to implore his mercy. Rogation days were always a time of fasting. However, while the rest of the world continued to fast, as early as 1833, the bishops of the United States had already suspended the obligation to fast. Finally, in 1969, the so-called reform of the liturgical calendar for the Western Catholic churches delegated the observance of Rogation Days to Episcopal conferences such as the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. So it's not surprising that now the observance of Rogation Days has pretty much disappeared from Catholic churches. It does remain in some rural churches where the emphasis now centers solely on prayers for fruitful harvests. I'm posting this video now instead of in May so that if you're interested, you'll have some time to talk to your priest about observing Rogation Days this year in your church. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installment. We'll be back again in about a week with another one. In the meantime, please check out our Facebook page, which is linked below, and please pray for the church. Mercy, mercy, mercy.